Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today we are talking Weightless Hydration Argan Oil of Morocco Lightweight Shampoo and Conditioner by OGX. So I've got fine hair, I've got a lot of it, and I absolutely have a passion for reviewing and just exploring all kind of hair care products, styling products for men and women's hair. OGX happens to be a favourite brand of mine. I know there's sometimes a lot of hype online about previously and some of the ingredients they used in their products and a lot of them were taken, uh, quite a few were taken um, off the market. However, there is a few which stand sort of the test of time. The Number one, for example, the biotin collagen, really, really great at working at uh, building volume and fullness and texture in the hair. And then my ultimate favorite is the anti-hair full shampoo conditioner, which I believe is discontinued now. But every now and again, it seems to just pop up in stores. So when I do find that, I do buy it because that's two OGX products, which I absolutely love. Today, we're talking weightless hydration. Now, I believe this is relatively new for OGX. Um, and I know they've really uh, changed up quite a lot of their products. Um, so again, this is like a lot of their products, a sulfate-free uh, formulation, shampoo and conditioner, weightless hydration. So when you've got fine textured hair, of course, you want to get that bulk, you want to get that volume. Now, fine hair doesn't necessarily mean that, well, it doesn't mean that you are losing your hair at all. Fine hair is just because that is the natural characteristic and texture of your hair. Now, if your hair is thinning, okay, that is completely different. That is, you are, are you are, the amount of hair which you have got over a period of time is reducing, which you can do a lot. And with thinning hair, uh, you can do a lot with your hair to be able to make it look fuller, thicker. Um, and it doesn't mean to say that you can't have a great hairstyle, even if your hair is thinning. For men uh, with the thinnest, super finest hair, it can still look really cool, really, really sharp. And for women, if you've got super fine hair, it can still look absolutely glamorous and it can still be beautiful with the right tricks and tips. And bearing in mind, you are amazing because there's only one of you. So please, please, please do not let your hair define you. You define you. Okay, so white class hydration. So if you've got fine hair, sometimes what either you do to your hair to achieve your hairstyle, sometimes it can leave your hair needing a little bit of TLC. So therefore you need moisture, you need hydration. But when, off, when often when you use these products, it can weigh down fine hair. So it's kind of counterintuitive. So you're stuck in the middle of either having really voluptuous hair, but yet it may be a little bit dry, it may need a bit more extra care. Um, but then if you use a hydrating product, I know very often I've used products like that for moisture in the hair, and it hydrates and conditions the hair that much, it makes you feel like you've got hardly any hair at all. So having said that, let's jump straight in. So I've reviewed this now on the basis I've used this about six times, okay, and I think that is fair. Um, and that's probably about over a week, just coming up to 10 days. I've not used it every day, um, so I'm in a fair position, I believe, to review this. Um, I have used this in my family home. My mum has used this, and my niece, when she comes to stay, um, has used this. So, um, and to be honest, it's... <laughs> When I first used this, wasn't a fan, didn't like it. I thought, how on earth is that an OGX product? It's weightless hydration. The shampoo I found knotted my hair, but yet as I gave it time and I used it a couple more times, it seemed to get better. And I don't know why that is. So the first time I used it, perhaps I rushed a little bit. Um, the shampoo's really, really nice. It's got a really lovely texture. It's almost like a, a jelly sort of texture. Um, it's not heavy. It is very uh, light. It lathers in the hair really, really nicely. It's a sulfate-free formulation. It doesn't agitate my scalp when I'm using it at all. And then afterwards, it didn't leave me feeling uncomfortable or anything like that at all. It's really nice. It makes the hair a little bit knotty, I would say, when you're shampooing it through. Okay, but however, then when you take your time and brush it out, it seems to it seems to sort of detangle quite easily. So whether or not it's the formulation, I'm not too sure on that. But as I say, when I first started using it, I was, wasn't that keen, to be quite honest with you. Um, but I've used it quite a, quite a bit now, and I'm happy with it, and I'm happy to report that it is a great product, and it is very much a contender for weightless hydration, weightless volume, I have to admit. So here, lightweight blend infused of argan oil. The only thing I don't get from it, if, if I didn't know it was on the bottle, I wouldn't know that was in here, because for me, it's very much almost a product on its own. Um, it looks after the hair, yes, but it's not super hydrating. It's it's just enough to be quite honest with you, because after using the conditioner, the hair very much, um, it, so, it sort of almost rises. So I'm not too sure how that would be if you've got fine hair and you've got frizzy hair. 
Um, I've got fine hair and I've got quite a lot of it. Um, my mum used it. She wasn't a great fan, I have to admit. She found she's got very long hair, fine hair, but lots of it and colour treated. She wasn't a great fan of it. She used it once and she said she wouldn't use it again um, because she found it really quite difficult to detangle and it made her hair quite um, knotty. But however, she did report that when she put her hair up, because she always wears her hair up, um, that it was easier to put up. So take from that what you may. My niece, again, she's got fine hair, but absolutely tons of it. Um, and that made her hair really, really stunning. Again, it was a little bit difficult to comb through, but it was a great, a great product. And it certainly did deliver on looking really, really good. The hydration, weightless. Yes, absolutely agree with the weightless bit of it. Hydration, not so sure, but it is a nice product. It is a really nice product to use. So here we go on the back. So uh, why you want it? So the weightless formula helps to cleanse strands and add shine whilst preventing hair from feeling weighed down. What do you do? Apply shampoo generously to wet hair, massage into a lather through to the ends, rinse hair thoroughly. After sh uh, shampooing, follow with conditioner. And you know what? Really like it. I have to admit, £4.50. Um, it, some places here in the UK, it can get a little bit more expensive, around £7. Do I think it's worth that? Yes, I do. It's a different product. It's, do you know what? <sighs> can't say that it's for volume because it doesn't say it's for volume here. It says it's got argan oil, vitamin B5, which is great for looking after the lengths and ends of the hair, great for um, adding shine, health, vitality. And you know what? It does do that. The only thing I would say, to me, it's more of like, it doesn't say it's a volumizing one, but you could quite easily say that this was for volume rather than hydration. So I'm not quite sure they've got the description quite right on this, but it's really nice. It's like a jelly formulation um, when, you, when you use it. You don't need to use loads of it at all. And it's got a really nice fresh, zingy, almost like a an aftershavey type, quite perfume type smell. It's not unpleasant. It is lovely. It's really, really nice. Um, and I imagine this lasts and lasts and lasts. So not bad. I would use this again. My mum wouldn't use it. My niece, it looked really, really great with her hair. So my mum's hair looked great with it, but she found that it was just, um, compared to her normal products which she uses, it just made her hair tangle up a little bit. And as I say, when I first started using it, it did. But however, now I'm quite used to just sort of taking my time and combing it through. But I absolutely admit, if you're used to a product really silky, really voluptuous, and you could just comb through your hair straight away, and I admit with ladies with longer hair, then of course, it's going to take you a lot longer if it's going to tangle your hair a little bit. So I absolutely understand on all accounts on that. But when my mum put her hair up, looked incredible. You can see the shine. So it delivers on all of that, what it says to be quite honest with you. So really great. Let's move on to the conditioner. Now, I do think that the conditioner is a little bit more heavier in texture. However, it doesn't necessarily affect the, the volume which it puts into the hair. And again, it's not saying it's for volume. It's weightless hydration. Um, so it says that it's not going to weigh the hair down. I don't think it weighs the hair down. Um, but what I would say, and this is really quite strange, the longer you leave it on your hair, the more heavier it seems to make the hair after you're styling it. So I used a blow dryer through my hair this morning with this. Um, I only, it says here, leaving in to three to five minutes. Okay. So it says here, this weightless formula helps to condition strands and add shine whilst preventing hair feeling weighed down. What can you do? After shampooing, apply conditioner generously to hair, work through to your ends, wait three to five minutes. Now, I've done that first of all, and it made my hair quite knotty, and it made it quite heavy, and I could certainly feel the difference in the top of my head, okay, and I'm having fine hair, you don't want the top of your hair weighed down, so it looks like that your hair's wet or sort of oily. Um, you want to have life, you want to have vitality. So I found that when I just shampooed my hair, and I just sort of uh, poured it through my hair, uh, poured it through my hair, um, and then just wash it off and didn't leave it on at all, I found that it delivered more on that basis. So I found if I left it on longer, it wasn't lightweight at all. It was quite heavy, quite cakey. But yet if I wash it out straight away, it was lightweight. So it is a really great product and I would recommend it. Um, mixture reviews really in my household um, made my niece's hair absolutely lovely. It did make my mum's really lovely, but however, she didn't think so in the end. But then when she was able to put her hair up, she had volume and texture in there as well. Um, but the hydration side, a little bit odd with this one because the shampoo, it is great, not necessarily for hydration, but for volume and just that general sort of slight amount of moisture, but giving you that weightless sort of volume. Really, really great. Conditioner, don't be leaving this in your hair. Wash it out straight away and it gives you a really nice result. Um, and yeah, do you know what? Absolutely. Really, really like it. So it's an OGX product. It's 385ml shampoo and uh, so shampoo and then the 385ml conditioner. Packaging all the same throughout the range as well. £4.50 each I paid for this. Um, and how do I think it made my hair feel? So today, all I've done is pass the blow dryer through my hair. And as you can see, 
there's no sort of lasting holding product or anything in here at all. I've just sprayed a little bit of spray throughout my hair and then just pulled my fingers for it, just for a bit of an edgy kind of look. And um, and yeah, it gives me the volume, gives me the texture in my hair. Really, really like it. And um, yeah, I think it's quite quite a nice. It's really delivered. Um, and I've been able to achieve that sort of volume, weightless kind of feel, which, yeah, I really, really like. And as you can see, I've poured a bit of spray just through the front here on a couple of pieces, just sort of separating up a little bit and just for a bit of an edgy kind of look. I do want to say, though, that in this video here, it does, after I've styled my hair, I do seem as though that it's falling a little bit. I'm not sure. I think it's the conditioning, you know. I think it's the conditioner which kind of makes the hair sit a bit flat. I'm not sure. It is great. It does add volume in, but you can't leave this stuff in. Um, so I do find that when I'm looking at my hair here, it's making my hair sort of almost slowly go. So I'm not sure on that, but I do like it. I have to admit, perhaps I'd use the shampoo and mix it up with a different conditioner. Perhaps the biotin and collagen conditioner with this one. Not too sure, but it is great. But conditioner, I do like it, but as I say, you need to wash it out straight away because I wouldn't say it's the lightest blend, um, but I do like it. And as you can see, it gives me a really nice edgy kind of look. I've got texture in my hair, fullness in my hair, and um, yeah, I really like it. What do you think? <laughs> anyway, I really hope that you've enjoyed this clip. I certainly do. Thank you very much for being here. And until next time, I will be seeing you then. Bye for now.